Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. Generally like to talk a load of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general and in this video we're going to be talking about a party game. We're going to be talking about the game of ham and in this game you'll be asking dodgy questions in the hope that you're going to get a dodgy answer that will allow you to move through the board and eventually win the game. So in this video we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules. We'll be telling you what we do like don't like then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not the game of ham is worth your bother today and in the future so remember if you are new here then please consider subscribing to this channel leave a comment in that section down below and we'll see you after this board games 4K. So, game of ham. How do you play this game? So, game of ham is a party game for three to as many players as you could muster. You could the whole world could play this, I suppose. There's enough cards in the box. Anyway, what you're going to do? One person's going to be elected to be the judge. They'll take the deck of grey cards. They'll pose a question to the other members of the group. So, some of the questions that may or may not appear on the cards are. You might get the question that asks, the media blamed blank for the school shooting. You might get the question that asks, what is the leading cause of death in Russia? You might get a card that asks, what is the Vatican known for? And you might get a card that says, what can you expect if you go to North Korea, right? And what you'll do, you'll notice that some of these cards have got letters on the back, and this is related to the other cards that are in the deck. So let's talk a little bit about some of the other cards that are in this game. So you've got the pink cards, and everyone's dealt a certain number of these pink cards, and this is the cards that you will play to respond to the judge's question right so you might get the card that says faking dead to get out of a birthday party you might get the card that says collecting human hair or hoarding poop or a poorly translated instructional manual or yelling at penises to do their job the types of games that are in this type of genre is that the game of ham comes with a board and you'll be moving your piece around the board dependent on how you answer the questions. So the judge is going to pick the best answer out of all the answers that are posed and they'll present the grey card to the winner and they'll move their marker so many spaces along one of the tracks that's on the board dependent on how many points are on each grey card that they've won, right? So you'll notice that the board is double-sided. You can arrange this any which way you want and there are different coloured squares on this board. You've got the green, yellow and red squares you've got the orange squares, you've got the brown squares, and then you've got the white squares as well. If you move onto a brown space, you'll see there's a number there and you'll be able to move forward, backwards, or wherever you want to go, that number of spaces. If you land on a green, yellow, red, or orange square, you'll take a card with that color on it. And this will allow you to sort of perform a little bit of take that, dependent on what type of grey cards you've acquired. You'll see that each grey card has got a letter on the back of it, H, A, and M. And if you could spell the word ham, you'll be able to play one of these cards and execute a little bit of take that, right? So some of the yellow cards will allow you to bounce a target piece to the last white bounce spot that they pass. This is basically sort of like a way of moving people back, sort of snakes and ladder style, right? You might get to force a target player to sit out a trick, or you might be able to force the judge to pick another pink card. Or the red cards will allow you to bounce a target piece to the last white bounce spot that they passed, right? You might be able to switch out up to two pink cards, and the orange cards allow you to make an additional pink card play this trick right so the different cards allow you to change the game up and sort of stab people in the back or move them forwards or backwards or maybe miss a turn or something like that so you'll keep doing this until the game ends there's loads of different ways that the game can end you could have it so that you reach a certain number of points a certain time limit or that you could have it so that the winner is the first player to reach all of the goal spots which is the orange spots on the board but you keep doing this until somebody's won the game and then you'll be the winner of the game of ham so what do we like about a game of ham. So the first thing that we like about the game of ham is it takes the concept of the plethora of other games like this. Like obviously Cards Against Humanity is the one that everybody's going to be thinking about. And it adds not only sort of like a, a board, albeit very basic, but it also adds that extra bolt ons like the sort of take that mechanism where you can move people back and make people miss turns and all, and all that sort of thing. There's lots of little variations in what you can do with the cards that you pick up when you move around the board. And okay, it, it is very basic, right? The board does look a little bit like sort of snakes and laddery. But the fact is, is that 
it takes the concept of Cards Against Humanity and it sort of adds a little bit more game to the skeleton of that one, right? So second thing that we really like about the game of hand is that there's loads and loads of variations in the box, right? There is no less than eight pages of different ways to end the game and different ways to play the game in the rule book. So if this is your type of thing, it's not really going to get old insofar as sort of going through the different variants. Now, some of the variants are you've got the anarchist variant, which allows any of the mandatory rules to be removed from or changed in the game, right? Or you've got the for pity's sake variant, where if somebody doesn't like the cards in their hand, they can trade all of them in and draw 10 new cards, right? This causes the player to miss the next trick as a penalty, right? So you might also have the kiss the toe variant, where the winner of the round must kiss the loser of the round. Oh shit, things are getting intense, right? So there's loads of different variants. You can mix and match if kissing toads isn't your thing. There's plenty of other variants in there for you. So uh, yeah, they've definitely taken their time to think about loads of different ways to play this game, right? So the next thing that we really like about Game Ham is there is a bazillion number of cards in this box, right? It's just, it's absolutely huge. It takes the weight of cards against humanity and it's almost like they've stuffed an anvil in the box, you know what I mean? You could use the box as a weapon if you really wanted to kill somebody, you know, rather than hire a hitman, you could just buy a game of ham and just throw it at somebody when they're not looking at you. So they haven't scrimped on the amount of cards in the box. Okay, a lot of them are the take that cards, right? But there's still a wealth of content in this game, if that's what you're looking for. So what don't we like about Game of Ham? So the first thing that we don't like about this game is that basically it's been done to death. We're done with these type of games where the judge reads a card and then everybody's got to respond with some of the cards they've been randomly dealt and it's whoever the judge feels it's funny enough. But we're, we're done with this, right? We, we did find Cards Against Humanity quite amusing way back when it was first released, but it, it wore thin, you know, really quickly. To its credit, this one does add a bit more game, but even so, once you peel off that layer, this essentially is Cards Against Humanity with just a board and a couple of like munchkin style take that elements, right? So the second thing that we don't like about Game of Ham is the board just seems a little bit pointless. You know, why, why are you moving around a board? I mean, it's sort of almost like it slows the game down. It bogs the game down. You have to choose the way the game ends. And if you're choosing like a sort of a point based thing, then the board really doesn't have any relevance. Only comes alive when you're trying to reach each of those goal points. The fact that there's this sort of take that element means it's a little bit of a slog trying to negotiate yourself around this weird sort of almost like a, a sort of an old traditional snakes and ladders style board, you know what I mean? So the next thing that we don't like about Game Ham is that the take that elements are poorly executed. Like this relates to the previous point about the board having been like sort of wading through a quagmire. When somebody plays a card that sends you back to one of the white bounce spots, it is almost like your soul dies inside, you know? There's also a mechanic in this game that if somebody lands on the same space as you, then they can send you back to one of those points. And there's also miss a turn type thing. It's almost like so, so they borrowed these mechanics from old MB games and it really does get frustrating. Probably the most fun portion of those mechanisms is when you get so frustrated, you end up punching someone's lights out because they played the same card twice on you, you know what I mean? So the next thing that we don't like about game of ham is that some of the cards just aren't very funny you know you might be dealt some really duff cards that don't really match with the question that the judge is asking you and there's these tumbleweed moments where everybody plays these cards are all revealed and it's just okay that wasn't funny right so the game sort of lives and dies on whether it's funny or not and it can be quite amusing but we had occasions when we played this where there's just this silence and nobody's laughing and the game just collapses in on itself. So the next thing, the final thing that we don't like about Game of Ham, and this isn't so much a problem with this game, but just these types of games in general, is that where the judge gets to pick the best answer, they can act as sort of kingmaker, you know? You can just look at the board and think, well, uh, Granny Mabel is X amount of spaces ahead and Auntie Josephine is so many spaces behind. I'm gonna award the right answer to Auntie Josephine because she is so far behind, right? It unbalances itself. Okay, it's a light, silly, stupid game, but if you are playing for points, or if you are playing for a victory goal, which probably shouldn't, you should just probably ditch the board and just answer the questions, then the fact that the judge gets to pick the winner can seriously undermine the victory conditions. So, 
to summarise, is Game of Ham worth your time and bother today and in the future? So we're going to say probably, well, from a personal perspective, no, it's not worth playing because we've done this one to death. Like we've already said, we've been through Cards Against Humanity and all the different types of games that are the same as that to death. You know, I don't, we don't want any more of it. We've done it. We've, it's done. And this game is exactly the same game as Cards Against Humanity with a couple of extra little bolt-ons like the fact that you can do take that and all that sort of stuff, right? In fact, you could probably substitute and interchange these cards and the Cards Against Humanity and just play with a bigger set, right? Having said that, if you are in the market for a Cards Against Humanity style game and you haven't played Cards Against Humanity, but you're looking to sort of maybe dip your toe into the cesspool that is that type of game, then I would probably recommend this over Cards Against Humanity because there is a bit more game here, you know. You've got the extra bits to take that. You've got the board there if you really want it. And you don't even have to use it. So if it's either this or that, I would go with this because there's more content for your money. There's more stuff to do. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's a game of ham. So remember, if you are new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment in that section down below. And we'll see you next time.